Welcome back, Hananites, for an exciting news update. At the Emerald City Comic Con during Friday's Halo Collector Panel, the cover art for the upcoming novel Halo Envoy was revealed. Before continuing, I'd like to thank Laird of Halo Collector, and Jeff Easterling, Brian Gerard, and James Monosmith of 343 Industries for this reveal and allowing me, in turn, to reveal this to you. The cover art was done by an artist named Chase Toole. I've left links in the description to the Halo Collector Twitter, Facebook page, and YouTube, links to Jeff, Brian, and James's Twitters along with the Halo Gear Twitter, and links to Chase Tool's Twitter and official website. Please be sure to check them all out. Anyway, on to the new cover. It's very different for a Halo cover though, in my opinion fitting given the subject of the novel. For those who don't know, Halo Envoy will serve as a follow-up to Oasis from Halo Fractures. Oasis introduced readers to the world of Karo, a world in the human sangheili Joint Occupation Zone that itself is inhabited by both humans on Sangheili, and the political strife that exists there. Halo Envoy picks up as an envoy for the United Earth Government, a woman named Melody Azikiwe, is sent in to try and broker a lasting peace between humans and Sangheili. However, as civil war engulfs the Sangheili, Melody is given a secret assignment by Oni. Free the Spartans of Grey Team, who are being held in stasis by a Sangheili Fleetmaster and have been for several years now. The book's description also talks about an unstoppable threat that's been hidden beneath the planet for eons, which is almost certainly a Guardian, given that the story is set in 2558. So, a planet in turmoil, the return of Grey Team, and a possible Guardian emergence, all written by Tobias Buckle, I am sold. Oasis was a fantastic story, and I'm eager to return to Cairo. But for now, Let's take a look at this cover art. The first thing that most people will see is the armor silhouette, which, at first glance, has a more than passing resemblance to the Chief's modified Mark IV from Halo 4 and 5, and initially, I was a bit upset about this. But then my buddy Reiku posted the cover art for Halo The Cold Protocol, which featured Grey Team's rather unique Mark IV. Looking again, I can see the strong resemblance to the Mark IV from the Cold Protocol, the smooth curved top really standing out, which, funny enough, is also prominent in the Chief's Mark VI. You can also see the hilt of a combat knife and the top edge of the Fusion Power Pack. While the visor doesn't really dip as low on the Envoy cover, the similarities are still striking. As I was discussing this all on Twitter, someone suggested that, perhaps, Grey Team's Mark IV was what inspired the Chief's Mark VI in-universe, of course. If you aren't aware, the Halo 4 Essential Visual Guide notes that, when redesigning the Chief's Mark VI, Cortana based the new design on an old iteration of Mark IV. I had always thought the connection was meant to be in reference to the armor seen in Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn, but it could be this too. And if not, the armor that's seen on the cover of Cold Protocol was what Grey Team was wearing back in 2535. What we see on the cover of Envoy is what Grey Team would have been wearing when they went missing in 2551, so who knows, they might have grabbed a few upgrades or even just a new helmet. Moving on, let's take a look at the scenery within that Spartan silhouette. On the visor, we can see three ships. The silhouettes are really hard to make out, but going from right to left, I see a Vindication-class light battleship, either a Frigate or a Marathon-class cruiser, and a Valiant-class Super Heavy cruiser, at least in terms of silhouettes. Most likely, though, they're new ships, probably like cargo freighters or something. In the foreground, we can see another type of ship, which is probably also another type of freighter. The main thing of interest, though, is the city. We know of three major cities on Cairo. The Sangheili city of Rak, another Sangheili city built on the Massa of Oasis, and the human city of Soraka, which is what I believe we're seeing here. Given the hard geometry of the buildings and the concept art we see of Sangheili cities from Halo 5, I think that saying the pictured location is Soraka is almost a guarantee. And that's pretty much it for the cover, other than the massive desert surrounding the city. If I forgot to mention it earlier, Cairo is a desert world not unlike Alaria from Halo Nightfall. So what do you all think of the cover art? Are you excited for this book? I know I am. I've been wanting to hear more about Grey Team since 2008 when Halo The Cold Protocol released, and I am so happy that not only is it finally happening, but Tobias Buckle is returning to pen the story. Halo Envoy is currently slated for release on April 25th this year, and it cannot get here soon enough. Be sure to check out Halo Collector, Jeff Easterling, Brian Gerard, James Monosmith, Halo Gear, Chase Tool, and Tobias Buckle. Relevant links for all are in the description box. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Canon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. 
You are the reason I get to keep doing this. So thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.